Uno, dos, one, two, tres, cuatro. guitar.com and in this lesson how to play a fun solo version of Wooly Bully by Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. The first thing you have to do when performing Wooly Bully is count off in the traditional Tex-Mex. Uno, dos, one, two, tres, cuatro, which Sam the Sham did as a joke during the session and the producer convinced him to leave it on. The second thing you have to do to play Wooly Bully is learn three chords, well maybe four. The first chord in Wooly Bully is a G chord. Now we're going to let the first finger hang, and so take the middle finger to the fifth string, second fret. The ring finger stretches over across it and gets the sixth string, third fret. The pinky curls up real hard and plays the first string, third fret. Now one of the reasons for leaving your first finger hanging is the second chord I'm going to show you, which is the G7, which is actually what the band starts the song on. If you put this back here on the first string, first fret, and pick up your pinky, you're playing a G7 chord. <laughs> Sounds much more authentic, and I highly recommend using it. Now, to go from that to the C chord, all you have to do is move these two fingers over one string each, so you've got the ring finger on the fifth string, third fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, and put your first finger over to the second string, first fret. And you're playing a C chord. The D chord, which comes up in the chorus, you're going to take these same two fingers, that don't change position, just lighten them so they slide across the strings, all the way down to the first two strings, so your middle finger is on the first string, second fret, and your ring finger is on the second string, third fret. Your first finger then moves from here to the third string, second fret. To go from there back to the C, what you do in the song, pick up your first finger, move these two fingers over together to the fifth and fourth strings, put your first finger back down on that second string, first fret, and then you're back to the G. Just move these two over to the G, curl your pinky. That's all the chords for Wooly Bully. One of the things I like best about the song, and one of the best things for beginners, is the rhythm, especially that beginning rhythm. So you're going to two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. In other lessons, I've stressed the steady beat, and here you're using it for the rhythm. One and two and three and four. you're keeping that going through the rest of the song, missing a couple of times. I'll usually play it like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, so I'm leaving out the two in the end of one. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, but this keeps going. You keep the steady beat going. One, and two, and three, and slower. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and you can minimize this, but you want to kind of keep the feel going like you're still keeping st straight time. Uh, oh yeah, also uh, you might notice I put in a little stop. You can mute it with this hand. Now I'm reversing the palm mute and doing, using the thumb side because I just downstroke. Or you can mute it with your left hand. Just kind of lay the fingers with the G7. Percussive sound. Maddie told Hattie, let's go take a chance. Let's go be a seven. Okay, the lyrics are kind of silly, and that's one of the fun things about the song. It's your traditional 1960s rock and roll, what the heck, let's just party and dance type of tune. I did a significant amount of research on the internet. Please feel free to go ahead and correct me, but as near as I can tell, the lyrics are just about dancing and having fun. There's not really much of a deeper meaning. L7 means L, like today we do loser, L, and 7, back in the day, meant a square, which was the same thing as loser or dork or whatever negative uh, word you want to put on your friends. This is Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been How to Play Wooly Bully by Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. Uno, dos, one, two.